Personnel alert. Security systems have been compromised. Stay frosty, people. Welcome back. This is Hampooch. The security system has gone AWIRE. It'll have to be overridden before the gates and sentry guns come back online. And we are in the penitentiary. Away for five, burp. Uh, I need backup. See you in 20 the years. destroyed the main elevator. Use the backup. I watch your back. 20 George. years, perp. Fascist. Nice <laughs> work, Dread. So I'm just arresting some convicts who are loose. I am just raising up my law meter, that was and then harsh, don't you think? lowering it right back down. I just raise it up a bit so I can have some fun and kill some dudes if I need to, or feel like it. Checking out a couple of the neat textures in here. Not a whole lot of fun textures on this level, unfortunately. Dread, side division are getting strong signals from the Dark Judge's holding chamber. Something's wrong. I don't like the sound of this. Warning! There is a breakdown in progress. Convicted perpetrators are now at large. All non-security personnel should evacuate the building immediately. So we picked up the... Ooh. Lawbringer? No. Lawbringer is the name of, I think, one of the vehicles in the, in the Dread universe. I can't actually remember what the rifle is called. Uh, it's all fire is this, uh, a scoped sniper rifle kind of weapon. It's really powerful. It is rather annoying though because you can't unscope it. Uh, switching the alt fire automatically turns the scope on and makes it kind of awkward. Its normal fire is an assault rifle with um, it's just a fully auto assault rifle, which is really nice too. So, all around, good gun. It is, of course, a judge-only weapon. And here we see some neat little texts, textures Drop your weapon. on Attention the convict. And a staple of this level, and this video as a whole, is crazy ass ragdoll physics. There's just something really wonky about the ragdoll physics in this game. It's crazy and weird. So we came to the penitentiary because the side judges were getting some bad vibes from the death judges who are imprisoned here, or whatever they are. I'm not wholly sure because I again, haven't played this game. So, side judges, got some bad mojo, and we came here just in time, because apparently a dropship has crashed, and shit is just going haywire. Convicts are out, somehow they have a ton of guns, I don't know where they got those from, and there's vampires all over the place, and that dropship did a whole lot of damage. I think the dropships are called Lawbringers. I had to correct myself in the previous video. I called the pistol, the Dread, or the Judge Pistol, a Lawmaker. It is actually the Lawgiver. Not that it's a big deal, but I felt like correcting it, because I kept calling it Lawmaker over and over again. Rather annoyed at myself for that. There are vampires everywhere, but we have the this means to the take them out. Side division judges have been talking about. It could be that plague. Or it could just be vampires. One perpetrator. Vampire scum. I tried to give that judge a fighting chance, but they're kind of a mixed bag. Sometimes they're really good at killing enemies, including vampires, and other times they're pretty crap. And we do have an alt attack with uh, both our pistol and our rifle, which is a melee attack. It's actually pretty powerful uh, in both cases. I don't like using the one with the rifle too much, just because the attack really seems to take up a ton of space on your 
on your screen. It's just the rifle just fills up your screen when you attack with it, so it's hard to see anything. It's a little better with the pistol because you punch with your left hand. If you want to get inside the main holding area, you're gonna have to fight your way to the override panel on the walkway between the guards' quarters. I wouldn't say this is a pretty game, but what they did with the textures and just the graphics, I think they did really well. Again, this came out on GameCube and the PS2, so I mean, it couldn't be too good. But PS2 was pretty impressive, I think. Here's just some silly textures, and this one. Probably my favorite in the game so far. Judge of the Month. And if you will notice, there is a pretty blatant spelling error. I guess it is kind of a common one to make. Receive. The whole I before E except after C thing, but come on now. Fucking proofread your game textures. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Also, Comic Sans font. Give me a break. Life imprisonment. Pretty sure that texture was made in MS Paint. I mean, damn. Look at this thing. Ah, oh, it's just so bad. I look at it a few times because I was trying to get a good view uh, when there's trying to get a good view at it of it in in some lighting and it's pretty dark in all these these little areas so we're just trying to open up a road access door so we can progress other than that we're just slaughtering any vampires and or prisoners that get in our way As of yet, we still have no fucking clue what the vampires are, how they're even here, or what's going on. I mean, I don't exactly know a whole lot about the whole Judge Dredd universe, so I don't know if vampires are an actual reoccurring thing in that universe. I know there's mutants that live in the sewers underneath the uh, cities, and I know they're outcasts. I know there's mutants in, uh, like, wow, that thing spun like a top. There's mutants in the wastes, in the cursed earth, I think, just on the outskirts of the city and such. Yeah, here's a better look at it in some lighting. So I know there's weird mutants and aliens from other planets, that kind of stuff. But I don't know about the whole undead vampires and all that stuff. I mean, I guess so, if there's death judges. Into a recite crate myself. And recite crates, from what I understand, uh, they were talked about in the movie. I'm taking uh, you down. Recite is. You're spend the rest of your natural life in the cubes. Oh. What's your back, judge? My best guess, Good without track. actually looking it up or knowing, I'm pretty sure it's basically Soylent Green. Uh, I think they use just human protein and human remains as protein to make food, I think. You can see there's quite a bit. I mean, with a population of 800 million, or 400 million, in one city, they probably get quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of recycled bodies. Oh man, this place is going to shit. And there are Two judges on fire and a prisoner surrendering. Drop your Ooh. weapon, see you in 20 years. Well, the only logical thing for me to do is get a health pack right in front of this burning judge. Sorry, buddy. This medic is busy giving me some attention. I'm head. Just better already, didn't it? You know, in hindsight, that, that medic judge probably shouldn't really have his job. So 
here. I, I don't know. I guess these are meat wagons? Um, I'm not actually sure. Meat wagon, of course, is uh, basically the hearse slash paramedic van in this universe. It might just be a hearse. I really don't know. But those had the medic colors on it, so I'm assuming those are meat wagons. Damn, that is some weird ass physics. So please forgive my ignorance on some things in this 2000 AD comic universe, because I really don't know a lot of it. I do find it fascinating though. I really like the whole the whole Judge Dredd IP. And I love the discussion in the thread about some of it. I like the fatties and their belly wheels. That's just hilarious to me. That is a trend, a fashion trend to be Holy fat. Creep. And a fashion trend to have facial acne. That is so goddamn bizarre. And so is this coffee container. Diet. I don't even know how you hold coffee in that. So we are gaining entrance to the isocubes, which are pretty self-explanatory. They are just isolation cubes, like one-room prison cells. Not too sure what these pillars are spewing out. It sounds like electricity, but it's also blue smoke, and it killed that one prisoner who surrendered in front of it. Guess uh, Rebellion just did their best with some of it. Took some artistic license. So here I remember for the first time that. Uh, every level you start with three grenades, and they are... Oh, nope, it's not here. Maybe it's next. Next time I open the door. Here's the ISO cubes. They are kind of neat. I was wondering what this said. It says, death lives, and violence is not the answer. Of course it isn't. Just think happy thoughts. Uh, so as I was saying, you start with three grenades on each level. Uh, I always forget about them. Uh, and as far as I know, I think there's like suppression grenades, or gas grenades, or smoke grenades or something. I think they just help you arrest. They don't actually uh, help with killing. I think they just either stun or blind or suppress the uh, civilian enemies. Pretty sure they can't kill anything now. I used them a few times in this video, but I failed terribly. I'm just debating if I can get over there or not. I head down this path, but it eventually leads to a dead end and nothing interesting down there. So I come back and. I decide I can get over here, which is kind of neat. I'm not sure why uh, this these four arrows show up on my HUD, though, as soon as I jump over there. That obviously indicates you're taking damage, but I clearly wasn't. And that was showing that I was taking damage from, like, all sides. So I threw a grenade. Uh, it was wholly ineffective because everybody was dead and one of the corpses decided to spring up after he was dead anyways. Dread, we've just lost contact with the chamber where the dark judges are being held. Get over there fast. Stom, unroot now. 
Stom is a swear word in this universe, I believe. Uh, Drock, also a swear word. And Grod. I believe Grod is basically like saying God. Like, Grod damn it sort of thing, or something like that. I could be wrong. I could That could be Strom, maybe. Or Drock. Fuck, I don't even know. I'm pretty sure they're just euphemisms for damn it. Or damn, or shit, or fuck. But... That's pretty neat. So we just turned on the sentry guns. That will make our job a whole lot easier. As the guns do kill pretty much everything around very quickly. Saves us a lot of grief. Not that they're too hard to kill, but... It does make very quick work of them anyways. Just watch them in action. But that's no fun. We gotta kill them ourselves. Judge Dredd wouldn't pass the work off onto someone else. Alright, well that is the level. Make sure cutscene coming up, and I will see you guys next time in level 3. Fuck. Huh.